Hello, my name is Sucket, and we are playing God Slapper's Paradise. And the first thing we're going to do today is continue to look at Forbidden and Arcanus. Uh, we're going to need a good amount of dark stone. Let's see what we have. We have the polished. There we go. We're going to need 45 of those. We're going to need 9 chiseled right like here's here's what we're doing today i wrote a quest for the hypastius forge if we can figure it out based on what i have here then i think a new version of the pack's probably going to be ready to be released so we'll need nine of the arcane chiseled polished dark stone and four of the chiseled arcane polished dark stone let's see What's all involved in that? Um, okay, well, we can't do it just in the stone cutter. <laughs> um, let's see. So we're going to need nine of these. Oh. Well, that's arcane polished dark stone. We need the arcane chiseled, which is chiseled polished dark stone and arcane gold nuggets now out of the box forbidden and arcanus had uh what am i trying to say this is the arcane polished we need the arcane chiseled polished out of the box it came with idolin compatibility to the point that you couldn't actually make the <laughs> Forbidden Arcanus Arcane Gold. That's part of the reason you can do all this in the Solidifier. Um, we're just going to program in all of these recipes. Polished Dark Stone. Very nice. Now, I've never actually used this thing. <laughs> I wonder what you do with this stuff. Not much. Apparently, um, we're also going to need four of these. Whoop, I'm in the wrong GUI. Story of my life. Okay, and this is these. And this we don't have a recipe for. Did we make a recipe for the nuggets? No, we didn't. We're going to need a recipe for the arcane gold nuggets also. That's the wrong one. Okay. Yeah, there are a couple compatibility issues here that I haven't quite solved, and I may not. Okay, so we need four of these, right? Right. And we're going to need nine of these. And we should have... a. Uh, yeah, all our soul shards from the skeletons and redstone and the gold. These will get us the arcane gold. Very cool. Now, one of the active ingredients that we're going to need for this thing is Mundipatar dust. Um, I guess we don't have any phantom membranes. Oh, that might be a problem. We might have a little bit, though. Yeah, we do. We must have found some somewhere. Now, I haven't been idle between episodes. I finished up this room down here and kind of made a basic stairway this down here is uh horrifyingly unfinished though so what we're gonna do i'm gonna try to set this up um if i understood it properly and then we got two more right and da -da 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 -da. see how we do Okay, I started with the wrong blocks. We want this chiseled polished dark stone with the with the inset square. Alright, moment of truth. We'll put our smithing table down. And we're gonna right click, ship right click, throw it down. No, it just went in there. <laughs> Let's take our magnet off. Alright. Let's see. We probably did something wrong, huh? It's got kind of a... Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if that's just the texture doing that. Maybe that doesn't indicate something's happening. But we took this off. Oh my gosh. Like <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's get rid of the dank. Huh. Okay, I've cleared a block of space up above. Yes. Okay. So now we know it requires one, two, three, four blocks of space above it for it to work, and it seems to ignore these little lights, which is good. Wonderful. Now we have this whole GUI that we get to mess around with. Okay, we're gonna need, we're gonna need to find some phantoms. I would like to try to catch one. I don't know if we've been awake long enough. But uh, for Mundipatar dust, we can get just about everything with what we got except phantom membrane. So if we can catch a phantom and give it to the Drigme, we'll be styling. Now the Hypastius altar runs off four different kinds of essences. And one of them is Oriole. Now we can do it in these from these Oriole bottles or once some phantoms spawn, which they did not uh, that night. We'll have to wait for another night. Uh, we can we can make these obelisks, and we'll be getting into that. But for the time being, let's see. Can we just shift click this in? Well, we can we can produce some lag by attempting to shift click it in. Uh oh. Okay, something went badly wrong there. <laughs> Maybe where is it even? Is it down this way? I can't remember. Oh no, it's the other way. Oh, that's the. Uh, I think the first major crash I've had in the pack, so maybe we won't shift click things in here. Um, I wanna say it goes right there. Okay, okay. Do we put all these in here? Sure looks like it. Oreo, 200. Very cool. Now another thing we're gonna need is something called a soul extractor to get, uh, you guessed it, souls. So we're going to need a failed recipe for a BLT. We're going to need a recipe for a soul extractor and also for this fancy jar. I don't know if we have much in the way. Yeah, we have a little bit. Okay, okay. We're going to make just one set of planks. I don't know if our sylph will produce this for us. I think she's the sylph in this, not the whirly sprig yet, but we're sure gonna find out. There it is. So I think I have a Stella made. I'm starting to believe that these only work if, uh, if the, the first of all, we use the correct GUI. These are, these are smithing tables. Maybe that's the reason this hasn't been working. Okay, it's indestructible. All we need now is some soul sand. I don't know how we're set up for it. Um, all right, we have a little bit. Might have to go to the nether. Let's see what we do here. I think we just right click. Okay, yeah, and then it turns into soulless sand. Looks like one soul per effort. Okay. Our first souls. Boy, the soul is sand. <laughs> That's quite a texture. Quite a texture. Okay, it looks like we can use it for plastic roads. That's weird. Maybe it works the same as soul sand for most purposes. Uh, I set the quest to give us some uh, some more souls, because uh, I'm friendly like that. Now well, we got three out of a possible. Oh no, we got five. That's five's good. Five's good. They're going right into the forge. Uh, let's see. 
We're going to drop him right here. Okay. One of one souls. Unlocked at level... Oh, da, 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 da. Okay. So what do we do with... Oh, there's more. There's more. Okay. We're going to need to put experience in here, too, I think. Now, one other... Now, one form of it are uh, these, these ex-petrified orbs. We could also put bottles of enchanting in there. And there's a way we can make... Or, or not, not really make them, but cause these things to be produced. Now, what we're supposed to do is take some corrupty dust, which it looks like we don't have everything to make all of these. The ender pearl fragments are easy. Arcane crystal dust. This is something that we'd have to smelt or crush. We'll crush them. Let's get that up in there before I forget which machine we're using. Um, infuser, crusher. Very good. Now the other thing is an obsidian ingot. And this is not too bad. It's just smelted up obsidian with iron, which is just obsidian and iron nuggets. No big whoop. We're also going to need dark matter. And we get that... Adelwood logs. We do not have... We got three of them. We should be... If, if the self is capable of producing them, we should be getting some by now. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Very good. Uh, we got a little dark matter. We got a little corrupty dust. We're gonna... Just throw it on the ground here. Yeah, there we go. That is a black hole. Now what we should be able to do is feed it experience. And let's turn that off. <laughs> is it doing it? I don't know how interested it is in the experience there. It doesn't seem like it wants to pick it up. Let's, uh, I guess the other option is, is garbage. Or entities. So let's give this thing some, oh, look at that. Okay. Okay, okay. I wonder what would happen if we went up with the experience shower. I lost a piece of weathered limestone. We gotta be careful around this. This was probably not a, a great place to put this. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. We can turn experience orbs and garbage, apparently, into these ex-petrified orbs. I wonder if we can destroy it. Okay, we can destroy it. That's good. It already ate part of my floor. We still are going to need pan of membranes, because I'm sure we're going to need more than just that one Munda the Tar dust. I don't know how many nights it's been, but I feel like we should be seeing one by now. Oh, I heard one. Oh, hello. Don't die. Don't die. I need you. Come here. Nice. All right. Whoa. Not what I was trying to do. Okay. Very, very good. Now, the last thing the altar needs is... Let's see. It's a little bit of blood. We need a test tube. That's just one of these runes that you get digging around underground with a glass bottle. We're also going to need this mystical dagger. We got a couple of dark runes. We'll need to uh, make a little bit of dark matter. And the last thing we're going to need, apparently, is an Adelwood stick. I thought that was just a normal stick. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Have to watch that. Pressure plates? Okay. One mystical dagger. Now that's a bug. <laughs> I used the stele on it, and I got a, 
I got an indestructible one and I got a regular one. So that's weird. Knowledge of the Ages is an interesting enchantment. It turns drops into experience. We haven't had uh, much of a use for it because we want, you know, <laughs> what do you call it, all of the, uh, all of the drops. But if we're just going to be killing skeletons for blood, I think we'll be okay. Okay, so these stack. That's good to know. Let's go down and see how we do. Is this our skeleton machine? No, this is our skeleton machine. Yep, there it goes. Spinning right around. Should dump us out some skeletons pretty quick. Dump us out some skeletons pretty quick. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Not really doing much, is it? Hmm. I'm using my sword. I wonder why I'm getting all this stuff. Okay, let's see here now. These all take up a different slot when full. Sure seems like they do. So they stack when empty, but they don't stack when they're full. Okay, we're learning. And I guess we just kind of put it in here, right? Don't drain out. Slowly filling up with blood. So these hold 3,000, this holds 5,000. Okay, okay. Now, we can finally probably make the obelisks. Um, we need arcane polished dark stone. Do we have any? We do. Wonderful. And we will need two, I guess they're nine, four actually, two for each obelisk. Of these, uh, of the blocks you make out of the arcane crystals. Let's run down here and see if this works. We're gonna put, uh, I'm gonna make them like this. You put them right on top of some of this arcane chiseled polished dark stone. I assume not this central one because we've already got something else there. Uh, and then. We're just gonna need a little bit of mundo. Oh, we gotta make a recipe. All right, we got our mundo batar dust. Right click, right click. Very fancy. And that should just keep this Oreo full. Next thing we need to think about are pedestals. So we've got uh, the dark stone, the arcane dark stone, other stone. Um, so let's see, the regular dark stone pedestal. Maybe we should start out, let's see. I don't even know which one I'm looking at here. Dark stone pedestal. Okay, there is no recipe for the arcane dark stone pedestal. That's the problem we are having. It's gonna take a pillar. Okay, we can get through this rabbit hole real quick. All right, programmed in. Let's uh, go ahead. I guess most rituals take six. Some will take eight. So we'll need to, uh, you know, keep that in mind. We'll probably have to break the obelisks at some point. They'll probably just get destroyed. We probably won't get them back. Yet another thing that we're going to need is gavel. So we'll take one of these gavel heads. And what do we have here? We could do, we had four arcane gold. We could make a fancy one. So let's make a fancy one. Oh, we should be all done here. All right. Now we could make this reinforced thing with, uh, with an eternal Stella. And I think we're going to do that. We'll have to go mining for Stella right at some point. Digital mining, that is. All right, remaining ritual uses 15. That's interesting. Uh, the obsidian would have given us 50, huh? All right, next time, next time. So we put our pedestals down like so. 
And we got two spares. Hmm. Now what do we do? Aha! You can learn all about it. Let's see. Experience, blood, souls, oriel. Okay, okay. So we can make enchanted books with this thing. I'm sure some of these cost more than others, right? Is that it? Is it just enchanted books? Okay, okay. It's still cool. Now we're going to break these things right away. Oh, we do get them back. Okay, okay. That's nice. I was a little worried about that. <laughs> we're going to see if we can't tear the altar up. Right? So what we're going to need, if I understand prop... Oh, we're out of energy. Now, if this works, I might have to write a quest for it. I'm not sure it's going to work. Um, I think to get it to the first tier, we're going to need spawner scrap and arcane crystal like so. And I think that Edelwood planks on the inside, I think. We'll right click. Does that do anything? Doesn't appear to. Alright, I move the items around. Maybe that's it. Let's see. Right click. Hmm. Okay, it actually looks like the enchanted books might be as far as it goes in this pack. So, uh, that's cool. It is a way to get custom enchanted books. It's a, uh, you know, interesting mechanic. It sure looks cool. So let's say we wanted to make a book of channeling for some reason. Um, we would need, okay, okay, okay. Let's try something else. Let's try, uh, let's try looting three, right? Okay, I think we have everything for that that we would need. All right, we got a book in there. Now let's learn some things. Let's learn if it makes any difference at all. Uh, what order and how shapely, shaped, shapeless, whatever. What happens if we just throw these down any old way? With uh, a focus towards making it goofy. Okay. Yeah, you can set that up any old way. It looks cool. That's a very fancy mechanic. I guess it does a lot more in later versions of the mod, but we're playing in 1.16. But uh, this, is, this is how it works. It's how you do it. I guess uh, each ritual takes 25 seconds, and I have to say, like, once we had it all put together, like, this stuff is accessible from the pretty early game, and, uh, and that's plenty cool. Uh, let's see, is it visibly draining anything as it's going? Hard to tell, isn't it? I'll give it a minute here. Hey! Awesome. Aha, and indestructible or no indestructible. You can only use this for so many rituals. And I think that's going to about do it for this time, folks. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.